Today I'm going to try out my $30 air conditioning unit. There's an old saying that I made up that says that perspiration causes inspiration and that's what's happening here. It's currently 88 degrees in the house, 726 p.m. and I think it's about 90 degrees outside and the way this evaporative cooler works is I'm going to place my box fan in front of an open sliding door and this mister unit that I constructed outside of the door and it's going to spray a fine mist of water at the fan you can buy these pre-made but I chose to build one because the store didn't have one that I liked I wanted one with just a single mist outlet because if there's multiple outlets it gets the fan wet and I've heard that electricity and water can cause a dangerous situation. So I'm going to place this outside just about a foot or so from the fan blades with the glass door open and the screen door shut. Then I will turn everything on and it will create hopefully an evaporative cooling effect. If you choose to try this, which I don't recommend, make sure that you place this configuration on a floor that is not easily damaged by water. I don't expect it to become flooded or extremely wet, but there probably will be a little bit of moisture uh, coming in. But that's the price you pay for these types of projects. So I'll set up my mister outside and start everything up. I'm now outside the door. I've opened the glass portion of the door and just the screen is closed. I positioned my mister in a bucket just to hold it up and it's about two feet from the fan. I'm hoping that the water mist will cling to the screen and help with the evaporative cooling effect and also keep too much water from going into the fan blades. So I'm going to turn on the water now. I've turned on the water and I've also positioned the mister so that it moistens the screen. It's just a very fine water mist. And now I'm going to turn on the fan. And there's a little bit of a breeze so I want to position the mist so that it gets sucked into the fan blades. I think there's a fine line between enough water to cool the air and too much water that can cause damage to the fan. The temperature outside is 93 degrees. I brought my thermometer out here. I'm guessing that this should cool the air probably about 10 degrees. So what I will do now is go inside with the thermometer and see if we can't create some cool air inside. Here's the cooler running. It's been running a few minutes now and as you can see there really aren't any droplets of water or anything coming out of the fan blades because it's pretty much all being evaporated. There's a little drip here. But that's 
find in this over tile floor. You can see the water being atomized and drawn past the fan blades. It took some adjustment to get the mist just right, but the air definitely feels cool. It's still 88 degrees inside, but it's only been running for a few minutes. I'll check back in 30 minutes or an hour and see what the temperatures are. Well, the time is now 8.30, so I think my air conditioner has been running for about 45 minutes to an hour. The outside temperature is still 90 degrees, and the inside temperature is 86. We are on the right track. I'll check back with you all in an hour. I'm finding that it's a long way down from 100 degrees. It's now 940 and the temperature inside is 85 degrees. So I've come down another degree since we last had an update. Outside temperature is 87 degrees so I'm still cooling down inside to a lower temperature than outside it is now almost 11 o'clock which is my bedtime and the outside temperature is 84 degrees I think yeah 84 degrees outside and the inside temperature is 83 degrees. So I'm still holding the temperature inside lower than outside. I'm not going to leave this on all night. Somehow that doesn't seem like a good idea. But I'll probably start it up again tomorrow morning to kind of pre-cool the house before it gets too hot outside. Thanks for watching.